with the Colts heading to Denver on Thursday night. The Broncos are minus three and a half. I am going with the Colts. Uh, I was very hyped about this team. Everyone knows I'm going Colts. I don't feel great about it, though. I thought about this, I will admit. But I have to go I have to go the Broncos on this one. I have to. No Javante Williams means no Connor on your side. We're taking the Colts. That was so sick. That was awesome. Let's go. I don't know where I kind of like from, that. But, I but, but also, right. no Jonathan Taylor. Oh. 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 Snap. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Bro, why'd you say that? I'm sorry. Uh, don't make me second guess my pick. My boy no. Latavius Murray, he's coming. True. All right, so it's Latavius or Naheem Hines. I'm taking Hines. Okay, so, you're, you're discrediting Melvin Gordon? Yeah. He's a fumbler. Fum, yeah, fumbling fumbler. Gordon. He's a fumbler. My point of view on this is the Colts have looked like shit. The Broncos have looked like shit. The Colts need this game. I think that if they're going to pick up a game, it's going to be against another bad team. And I was going to say I trust Frank Reich more than Nathan. I'll still say it. I trust yes. him more than Hackett. So that's my... Like you're saying, hungry dogs run faster. And they, the Colts need this, like, really bad. They need this one. I need them to get this one really bad for my take to look okay. But, I mean, Jonathan Taylor really scares me. Shaq Leonard's out. O-line has been very underwhelming. Very suspect. And, and Matt Ryan, every time he gets touched, it seems like he fumbles the ball. I mean, he, either he gets it or they get it. or lo- Like, obviously, it's just a, either way, it's a fumble. You're losing yards. It's a bad. It's bad. It's pretty bad. He's got to figure it out. So, Pittman, Pierce, go crazy, please. But Pittman's got Sertain, and he's playing at a great level. So, Sertain is like one of the best corners in the league. Yeah, he, looks like. he's, he's pretty damn good. Yeah. Oh, no, he's amazing. But here's my thing, boys. Is You're right. The Colts are going to be hungry, and the, it's, it's the thing where they got to have it, right? But And and same where, and I'll admit it, the Broncos, where so we look, where they, they kind of stole two games here, right? But... I just think I'm looking at it like I think Russ, it's he's due to get to cook it. You know, it's like we we've gotten some burnt dinners for four a weeks. A lot of burnt dinners. We've gotten so many burnt dinners for like how I don't know. It's been four weeks of just burnt dinners, and I'm looking at it like they got to figure it out somehow, right? And I and it's the thing where I, you know I'm I'm literally as out on Hackett as anybody, but I just think the Colts might be just bad. I'm sorry, like I'm, I hate to say it. I know it's, I, no, it's this no, team. I'm, I'm I'm just getting like. Bad team vibes, like where it's yeah. like this might just not even be redeemable. Like the scheme looks nothing like last year, and if because everything's figured out now, it's like they, there's they didn't evolve anything. They're just and nothing's working. And the, Jonathan Taylor's in no rhythm, even if he was out there. What's well, the problem? I'll just keep it all. I'm I, that's wrong. Looking at it, and if the Colts prove me wrong, that'd be a good thing because then that means, like you said, the Colts are back on track. And I, I'm all for it, but I'm sorry, boys. I think the Colts just aren't a good team at all. Like whereas the Broncos have some wiggle room to turn into a good team. You know, that's just how I'm, that's just how I'm gonna take this. I think you're right. I think the Broncos are are the better team. The head coaching matchup, I think, I, I think Frank Reich is still him. But you know, if both these teams are off the tracks, I'm looking at the locker room. I'm looking at the head coaches. I'm saying, what are you telling your guys to get them back on track? Do I think Hackett really has the oh locker room God, or anybody's God. confidence on that team to call the right plays or? Like, pretty much anything. I don't know if he's a good coach. I don't know if he's going to be there next year. Yeah, like, and I think they're going to have to go more pass-heavy. They should. They, they, sh- they Well, they definitely they should. They have mm-hmm. to. They have to do it. I mean, I, I, Javante was playing pretty well, and it's a huge drop-off when it's not. It's going to be Boone and and Gordon. That doesn't scare anyone. Like, you have to rely on the pass. He has, he has weapons, so, like, uh, he might cook, but then he might. I don't know. I don't think the weapons are that great anymore, though. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, a, big, I'm not a big fan of Judy. I, I'm not I a big wasn't fan of Judy. I wasn't a big fan of him. And I mean, in. if you've got only the one option on offense, then like you got Stefan Gilmore on the other side of that. And that is a scary sight for Russ, because as Dob said, we've gotten a lot of burnt dinners from Russ lately. That's being generous. I, I think I'm out on letting Russ cook. I just I think he is cooked, to Listen, be honest. No, the, the, chef, the chef has been a little ratatouille on top of his head. Throwing him around, and the rat don't know where he's going. <laughs> we can't see out of the helmet. Tell me this isn't a valid point, because that's what I'm thinking about. This, this is a valid point. Russ has been looking cooked. I mean, I mean, he's looking so, so cooked. Here's my thing. The game plan just has not been creative at all. It's like, just you're give right. me, oh, give me, right. you know what I mean? No, right. Where it's like, give me something creative. But do you Let's, trust and, Hackett to do that's that? The that's, thing. That's, that's the thing. That's let me get thing. some pre-snap motion. Let me get some different, let me get some 
Let me get some counters out of the same look. They don't do, they're, they're not hitting anybody with any of that shit. Well, go figure. You're, they're literally the most predictable. Bro, they actually are on first down. They're so predictable. Just we need a little like bit watching of Iowa's offense. But that's why, that's why I feel like there's potential. That, Whereas the Colts were like, mean. what the fuck? You know what I mean? It's like, watch the Colts, bro. It's like, what the fuck? That, uh, I'm sorry. Besides the Chiefs game, which is, which, that's the funny part about this. The one oh, team yeah, they had to figure right. it out against what, what happens to be our, the best team. But other than that, it's like, what are the Colts doing? I'm like, what the Colts probably they should need their not defense have won. to play lights out. Honest, Colts probably should not have won if that their Chiefs defense game either. Doesn't so, play lights yeah. out. That's the thing is, what did they? I know Ryan's playing like shit. I don't really hate people. <laughs> this is out of pocket. I think I hate Hackett. Whoa, I Dude, hate Hackett. He is such a cornball. Whoa, and he's he probably a nice guy. A he's probably a nice guy. He's he's probably a great guy. I'm sure he's a great guy, but he's a cornball, and he's not a good play caller or head coach. Where's the wiggle room? At least Russ was a good quarterback in a cornball. I think Russ, I think Russ has to just insert himself and be like, dude, honestly, it's kind of like fuck off. He's got to be like, just like, like, <laughs> like, just let me kind of do my thing. Let me just, I, that's the thing. Let, let Russ cook. I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know if Russ is still capable. Did Russ lose the ingredients? I don't know, but at least, least got to give him a chance. <laughs> Toss him the fucking cookbook. All right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, we got to give him a chance because there's no creativity right Scrap now. Scrap the cookbook. All right. We have to move on.